The Magic getting off the bus earlier on, a sharp-dressed and very confident group. And a view of the skyscrapers of Midtown Manhattan from high above the East River here in New York City. Welcome, folks, to what promises to be a great Tuesday night of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge joins us from the sideline. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Kemba Walker. And maybe it's shocking, maybe, yeah, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge John on the sideline. David? Well, Kevin, one of the great stories is Julius Randle becoming an all-star in New York. Randle said it's been a lot of hard work paying off as a shooter, a passer, a leader, you name it. I've gotten to flip the script on my own reputation. I'll also help with this larger thing we have going, changing the reputation of our entire franchise. Mission accomplished, Kevin. Yep, he's big enough to handle it. His performance speaks loudly. Thank you, DA. And Greg, in terms of personnel, not exactly the matchups we were expecting to see. And with all the injuries, some guys are stepping into some unfamiliar roles. But in some ways, that makes tonight all the more intriguing. A look at the Magic starting group. They've got Muhammad Bamba, Carter out there with Wagner. Then it's Anthony, and it's Suggs in at the two. And for the Knicks, sharing the wing spots, Fournier and Barrett. Handle out there with Noel. And it's Walker in at the point. It'll be the Knicks off the tip. Outside Fournier. The pass to Barrett. Shoots over Wagner. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. That's his first Simply overpowers defenders when met with contact. Wendell Carter Jr. is tough as they come. Shooting and Wendell Carter Jr., not the biggest Wendell center, Greg, was at 6'10". In fact, most reports would have him pegged at 6'9". And Carter Jr. plays like a seven-footer. Got that seven-four wingspan and great head on his shoulders that levels the playing field with his height. That's good from Carter. In the seventh pick of the 2018 draft, Carter Jr.'s potential is enticing. A bruising big man with a bright future ahead of him. Now here's Noel outside. Walker shoots the three. Good on the triple. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Pass to Wagner. Oh, here's Suggs. He's guarded by Fournier, and the shot goes in. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Outside Fournier. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Yeah, I think the train has left the station in regards to Walker ever being able to live his shoot-first reputation down. But as we see here, this is a guy who can make some spectacular passes. Now, here's Bamba. And the rejection by Noel. Out of bounds as Orlando keeps possession. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Six to shoot. Deep two from Anthony. 
Fantastic defense from Barrett there. It, it helps big time when he gives the hustle and stays home with his man. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. Got to work harder on the back. And it's Noel missing. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. Nice D from Fournier. For New York, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. Two points, that one goes. What a nice first. Randall changing ends like a guard that time. There's the lob, the corner. Yeah, up high to stuff the alley -oop. Well, because Carter Jr. is so dynamic athletically, his teammates have a lot of confidence in him finishing the alley-oop. And Noel kicks to Walker. And again, New York with the triple. The team just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Now, here's Sun. He's covered closely, and it's to that. Now, here's Barrett. He's defended by Wagner. Well, there's nothing like being unselfish as a player. And Noel was outstanding in that regard. Reading the entire floor and finding his guys for high percentage shots. Now, here's Suggs. Here's Anthony. And the layup's good off the glass. Oh, Anthony. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Walker the pass to Randall. Launches a three, and the Knicks hit again from deep. And helping the team space the floor there. Randall with so much more confidence now from the outside. They grab their own miss. And George Randall bringing it up now for the Knicks. They lead by four, and it's blocked. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Barrett. Magic have gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Here's Anthony. That one a little long. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring, but let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Fournier finds Walker. In the corner, Barrett with it. Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, and the jam by Pitt. This guy is a fantastic athlete. Barrett looking like a man on a mission with that slam. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. The shot by Carter. Nobody around. Nails the wide open jump shot. Carter's got seven. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. The shot's good from Fournier. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shot's falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. Pass to Bamba. Trying to get open his corner. And the rejection by Noel. And so it looks like the Magic will retain possession here. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for New York. Wagner's checked in for the Magic. Lock at six. From the stripe, Anthony can't hit. And, you know, they're losing in large part because he's, he's not playing well. It's really as simple as that. The B just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. And it's Wagner missing. New York leading by eight. Outside, Walker. Bobbed up there for Robinson. Takes the alley pass and dunks it down. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. The shot's good. Cole Anthony. Anthony's got his second basket of the night. New York's gone three of three from deep. Nine points rung up from outside here on the first. And a wide open mark for Walker. And the Knicks hit again from deep. And you can't help but pick their defense apart 
they're completely in disarray. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point defensively, you have to take something away. Wagner, that one falls coming off Anthony's team. Wagner's got his second bucket of the game to go. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Robinson kicks to Walker. Bangs home the trifecta. He's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. The Magic trail by 12. Pass to Wagner. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. So it's the Knicks now. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. They shot the lights out from deep. Really stretched out the defense. There's all kind of talk in the game today about stretching the floor. Because when you do that, everything else just becomes a little easier. Looking at who's out there now for the Knicks. Taj Gibson's checked in for Randall. Reddish comes in for R.J. Barrett. And it's Burks in for Fournier. Two minutes. Here's the pass to O'Keefe. Two minutes. Orlando moving the ball around. Anthony against Robinson. Shot clock at six. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. You've got to make Ross a passer in that pick and roll. I mean, he's a better scorer than he is a playmaker. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for New York. Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively blocking shots, a key indicator of their activity on the defensive side. Another big aspect of their game tonight has been the fast break, transition opportunities. They're really keeping it up tempo so far. For those teams that did make a deal at the trade deadline, Greg, how hard is it to integrate a new player midseason? It can be tough. Guys who need the ball to be effective can be a little harder maybe to integrate, but for certain role players, it's just how quickly they learn the system. Here's Anthony. Mitchell Robinson making his last shot. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Outside, Walker. And the Knicks hit again from deep. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Now, here's Lopez. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Anthony in the corner. With the fadeaway. And good oh, as it just snugs right down through the net. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Hey guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. The Knicks shooting their first free throw tonight. And they've been ordinary on the season as well. Just about 75% from the line. You know, I know that's an aspect they've been trying to address as a team. I mean, they've got to get those free throw numbers up and improve. And you will quickly, he's checked in for New York. Free throw good, Burks. And it's Anthony with the ball for the Magic, trailing by 13. Okiki passes to Ross. He takes it in, and Gibson sends it back. A good defender who uses his body well. Gibson is capable of blocking shots. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive board. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. Now Anthony passes it to Harris. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. You can tell Gary Harris is thinking of firing that shot even as the pass is coming his way. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Knicks lead by 12. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. And one of the remaining veterans on this Orlando Magic team, Terrence Ross, mindful of the franchise's history. T-Mac, Shaq, Kenny, you know, even Dwight and them, you know, it's just a great city to be in. You know, they have great fans here, and uh, they made some historic runs here, so it's exciting to, you know, be somewhere there's a lot of history and there's a lot of guys that come through here, so uh, I'm just happy to be a part of the organization. 
And we know this is Ross's sixth season in a Magic uniform. And, and Kevin, he's found his niche as a bench scorer and veteran presence. Good to have those steadying influences on a roster, even as a team goes young. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And a comfortable margin for the next year, guys. Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. And, you know, for them, guys, it's all about tempo. Defense Keep the pressure foul. on and do so as much as possible. That's his We've got Alec Burks. Robinson is out there with Taj Gibson. Then it's running. And it's quickly in at the one spot. There the group New York will start the second one. At the line, one shot. One shot. And the free throw, no good. The Magic trailed by 14. Ross for three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And given Robinson's upside coming out of college, it was a little bit of a surprise that he fell to the second round. And he's more of a classic big. It won't stretch the floor. You're not going to run the offense through him. But, boy, you can't teach size and athleticism. And that's what he brings to the party. There you go again. A nice kick out after the D had collapsed on him. Anthony against quickly to the paint. Here's Lopez on the dunk by Lopez. At seven feet tall, dunking is very easy for Lopez. Once he's this deep, the defense is in trouble. Now, here is Robinson. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. He gets it in there. That's their third straight make off an assist. Quickly against Anthony. Pass to Okiki to the inside. Fades. The shot's good from Lopez. Lopez. Lopez has got four this quarter. And have to respect the inside game of Lopez. Even when you contest him, he stays focused near the rim. Now, here's Reddish. He's got six. Anthony against quickly. It'll go, and the Nick lead is cut down Anthony. to just 12 points with the basket from Anthony. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys, honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass a nice assist. Here's Anthony Ross with a wide open look. That's in there. Ross. Anthony with the assist. Three point goal. Anthony's got his fourth assist in this one. Quickly the pass to Robinson. Lopez against quickly. Over Lopez. And the Knicks good for two. Great throw move there. Finds a way to gain some separation against the much taller defender. You know, your assumption would be that he'd be at a big disadvantage in that matchup, but you'd be assuming wrong. The 19-foot shot. That one's in there. The New York lead is kicked down to 11 points with that button from Ross. Feasting on the leftovers. Feeding big time. Ross stepping inside the arc and making it happen. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Ross has got seven points here in this quarter. Floats one. It's tipped. Great play by Ross. I mean, using that bouncing ability at the defensive end. Love it. Robinson with the block. Inside. Gibson finds Robinson. Back to quickly. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. That's his first person. Well, we've seen mid-range jumpers lose favor, but Clark, it seems like the floater is on the line. Kevin, it's a must-have shot in today's game because of the lane being open as much as it is, the way the game is officiated, where you can drive it and create foul situations. Smaller guys that get in the lane have to have a shot that can avoid taller defenders, and the floater is that shot. First one falls for him. So for the Knicks, 
Randall's checked in for Gibson. Barrett comes in for Reddish. And Evan Fournier subbed in for Alec Burks. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Mohamed Bamba, he's checked in for Lopez. Mo Wagner comes in for Okiki. Wagner's checked in for Terrence Ross. And it subs in for Cole Anthony. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Suggs with the ball. Pass to Wagner. Shot clock at five. It's rebounded by New York. At one point, they led by 16. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. That'll be a home game. That game will conclude a three-game homestand. Here's Fournier. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. In the mid-range area, Fournier, very, very gifted. As a pure shooter, he's as good as we have in the league. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alden. Thank you, Kevin. It's ironic that while the league took refuge in Orlando to complete the 2020 season, the Magic has had no reprieve from the rash of injuries that affected its top young players the last few years. This team is well coached and plays hard. Hopefully their fortunes will change when it comes to health. Guys? All right, David, thank you. Here's Suggs. Following the basket by Evan Fournier. I mean, the number of points they've scored in this paint already here is eye-opening. And this is his first trip to the line tonight for the Knicks. Noel's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. And Walker subbed in for quickly. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. And Noel throws it down. Skying towards the hoop and decimating the defense with that ridiculous alley -oop dunk. Go ahead, Noel. Now, here's some. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. That's well done there. I mean, don't even give him a chance to get to the block. Get in tight and finish at the rim. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. Driving to the basket. And the rejection by Noel. And shot opportunity. It's Gush. Suggs has got six points. He's starting to find himself out there now. You know, he's taking much better shots here in the second quarter. Outside, Walker. Back to Fournier. Some solid defense from Harris. The Magic trail by 13. Wagner kicks to Harris. And the cherry by Harris. Gary Harris proving how incredible he can be at throwing it down. And there's the pass to Barrett. Here's Noel. Outside Fournier. Shoots over Bamba. Off the left rim and out. Boy, great effort on defense there against a guy who typically makes that. Passes to Wagner. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Randall with the block. Well, you can't go up weak against Randall, otherwise he's going to block. The Magic making a switch here. The Chargers checked in. Wendell Carter Jr. Just three to shoot. Here's Suck. Off the mark and a chance to trim it to single digits. The Knicks leading by 11. And one thing that separates Randall from other guys, his size. That spin move. He can do it off the drive, in the post, now going either direction. A 
minute 42 left here in the second, and that one's good. No out. And whirling around the floor, Greg, is there anyone Randall reminds you of? I mean, I mean they're different players, but Akeem Olajuwon had an unbelievable spin move. Takes a lot of body control, especially for taller guys. But when you do it well, man, it is tough to stop. Now, oh, here's up. He's got six. Julius but you certainly can't fault him as the first reason first. they're behind. He's been on target and on top of this game. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. One shot. Free throw, no good. Great talk about a guy who plays with competitive fire. Suggs is a powerful leader, but by example. Yeah, I mean, this guy plays with such great strength and energy, and he makes great decisions. Really has an advanced understanding of the game for his age. Here's Wagner. Kemba Walker making his last shot. There's the try. And contact down the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his third Julius Randle picks one up. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shooting Take a look at what he's been able to do at the free throw line. 82% more than his efforts. You know, even in games where he hasn't been at his best this season, I mean, he still managed to get it done at the charity stripe when he gets his opportunities. from Wagner. Burks, he's checked in for Fournier. And the Magic making a change here as well. Moss is checked in. Good on both. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. And we know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion. For you. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleek. 26 seconds left to play here in the half. And here's Walker. 17 points in the game. Five to shoot. And it's blocked. From deep. And so it's New York. Holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot. Here with Tom Thibodeau. Coach, what has gone well for your team in the first half? Started making plays, you know, play unselfishly, force the defense to shift, attack, get downhill, then make a play. You guys followed the instructions to the letter. Thanks, Coach. Back to you guys. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Kemba Walker was the story in the first quarter. He ended up with 17 points and four assists. And taking a look at the Knicks, Shaq, what you think? They've come out determined to push the pace. Up tempo offense, getting the ball up court as quickly as possible. The advantage in transition points has been the major difference in the game. Kenny, let's get your insight on Orlando. Well, don't get me started with their perimeter D. They're standing around flat footed, not closing down on shooters quickly enough. The result is way too many open threes, and at halftime, the deficit, that couldn't be avoided. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. What a game we're seeing from Kemba Walker. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, you know, the stroke looks fantastic. 
even when he's had a hand in his face, it hasn't affected him at all. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So on the floor for Orlando, they've got Wendell Carter. Anthony is out there with Suggs. And there's Mohamed Bamba. And it's Wagner in at the three. The small forward. Carter with the bucket. With really clean, simple mechanics. Carter Jr. shoots with a lot of confidence. Not much else the D could do there. Here's Walker, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the five. And defensively, no matter the size of the man he's guarding, Walker really puts up a fight. Some smaller guards were 10 for the battle. Walker Kendall will Walker bang with you, try to find you, pull on your jersey, whatever it takes. He backs down from no one. That's good from Kimball Walker. And Kimball Walker traded to the Thunder this offseason, was subsequently bought out before joining the Knicks. Walker and the Knicks seem like a perfect fit. You just hope Walker can stay healthy at this stage of his career. He's perfect from the line this time. I love how efficient Walker is. The Connecticut alum continues to just thrive on the offensive end. It's Anthony with the drive, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on R.J. Barrett. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. They definitely saved the layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Well, one of us here knows Cole Anthony quite well. <laughs> the guy to my side here, Greg, is a dad. Care to share with us a story about your son playing hoops growing up? Well, I, I tell you one thing. He's always had that belief, that inner belief in his, himself and his abilities. And that's something that started early on in his life. And honestly, that's when I knew he had a chance to be a really good player. I think he shot the ball well, guys, but I don't think he shot it enough. The more shots he gets from here on out, the more they'll stretch out this lead. Now, here's Wagner. Six points for him. Count that one. Wagner's got eight points. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Walker against Carter. Walker's shot is off. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rusted a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Yeah, yeah there was definitely some contact there. Yeah, it's a three point it's a so to avoid fouls like that. As a defender, challenge the three-point shooter, but run by him, not into him. He'll shoot great. from Wagner. And the second free throw, good. Nails the third. The Knicks leading by eight. Now here's Walker. He's got 19. Guys, that's all athleticism and timing. Bamba, a terrific shot blocker because he uses the physical tools he has quite well. Now Noel. For Jalen Suggs, missed from long range. Randall with the bucket. 
Randall's got seven points in the game. And the rebound and the foul show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with a soft touch to match. Now, here's Wagner. He's got 11. Knocks it loose. Just five on the clock. Shoots from 12. The Magic again can't hit. And the edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. And that one is good. Yeah, he's got the kind of confidence where he feels like nobody can stop him. That's why Walker is so aggressive on offense, especially when he's rolling like this. Now here is Carter. He's been a reliable score for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. Oh, that's great. TNT, baby. Uh, that was pretty, and he just has that effortless knack for getting inside. Tell you what, you'd hate to be the guy having the responsibility of guarding him. And so New York calls timeout. Robinson's checked in for Nerlens Noel. Gibson comes in for Randall. Reddish, he's checked in for R.J. Barrett. And quickly in for Kemba Walker. Orlando also making some changes. Lopez comes in for Muhammad Bamba. And Okiki subbed in for Vaughn. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose. So far, Gibson, strong moves to the team, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, you know, Shooting when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. What's up? The free throw off from Lopez. And the fun-loving personality Lopez has makes him a likable teammate. It's clear that they love playing with him. Now, here's Fournier. 12 points for him. Robinson kicks to Reddish. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. Robinson's got assist number five for tonight. Anthony looking it over. Down low. Lopez passes to Anthony. Here's Suggs. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. That's his first person. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. Incredible, incredible body control right there. Don't know how he was able to get that one to go. Sure was a thing of beauty to watch. What's up? And that one misses. The Knicks leading by 11. Fournier into the lane. No good with the layup. Carter against Fournier. Lopez right side. And Lopez throws it down. Easy look provided by Wendell Carter Jr. Always helps when your bigs can share the rock. Lobbed up there for Robinson, and it's sent back by Lopez. And so the ball goes out of bounds. Lopez touched it last. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. And New York making a change. Works is checked in, and the Magic making a change here as well. 
Gary Harris is checked in for Suns. Now, here's Reddish. Guarded close. That shot is off. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. Now the feed to Carter. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Carter Jr. Carter's got four points this quarter. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Burks kicks to Reddish. New York moving it around. Just five to shoot. Takes the three. Burks' shot is good. Burks has got six. And for regular score feet, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. It'll go, and the Nick lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Anthony. Goes against Burks. Has to quickly. to Burks, and there are the Knicks with another bucket, coming quickly, and it's Anthony with the ball for the Orlando Magic, when this game is done, they'll be off to Chicago as they take on the Bulls, and that game will be game two of three straight on the road, pass to Lopez, out left to the wing, finish now to Anthony, over quickly, Anthony can't hit, a good job by him on the glass, here tonight, plus eight for that spark. And Reddish with the slam. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley oop. Well, I tell you what, they got this team just a step away from being completely sleep. Wow, he doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his third personal. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far the for the Knicks. The They've knocked down plenty of mid-range jumpers in this one. That's been big for them. Couple that with just how well they've shot it from beyond, and they've made this thing look easy. That one is off. Julius Randle's checked in for the Knicks. The Magic also changing it up. Wagner's checked in for Lopez, and Terrence Ross is subbed in for Carter. And he's good on the second. And Orlando has possession. It's a 10-point game. Anthony, the pass to Okiki. Back to Anthony. Over Robinson. Anthony's shot is off. The Knicks have gone better than 53% from the floor since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. Reddish's shot is good. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Here's Harris. Five points in the game. Anthony kicks to Ross. From deep. Brooks pulls it in. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Now, here's quickly. Eight points for him. And all have to win that time before dropping in. Quickly's got 10. Here's Harris. They trail by 14. And the layup is good. Gary and not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. That They had a lot more attempts in that first half. A pass to Quickly. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. No good from Ross. New York leading by 15. 
26 seconds left to play in the third. To the middle, here's Randall, and Randall throws it down. You know, once he has the positioning he wants, he's ready for the big finish. Julius Randall throwing it down. Now, Ross, 10 points for him. Let's it go with a three. Buries the long-range jumper. He's got 13. Man, I like the three-point stroke of Ross. Gets it off so effortlessly. Man, he's got terrific form. And so it's New York sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. we can now let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game it's just true artistry right there I mean great decision on where to go with the ball and how about the perfect delivery and they'd love to see every possession in this way true team basketball and we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand in the forward positions Barrett and Randall Alec Burks is out there with Emmanuel quickly. And it's Noel at center. That's the five for New York right now. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. Suggs passes to Wagner. And out of bounds as the next game possession. Fournier's jump in for quickly. Into the lineup for your New York Knicks. Evan Fournier. And Randall has got the ball here for the Knicks. Passes it to Burks. And stolen by Wagner. Here's Ross. The teardrop falls in. And whenever Ross is in attack mode, it's always a good sign. The Knicks leading by 14. Here's Fournier, scores the bucket. He's seven for 11 and continues to look good. Not an easy finish right there, but a beautiful move to give himself just enough space to get in close and knock it down. Ross, that's good. Well, we know that T. Ross can get it going. Part of the 50-plus club in terms of scoring the basketball. Burks dishes to Fournier. Back to Burks. Fires the three. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Well, he's just stretching them out. And the defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. Yeah, especially with the score being what it is. I mean, you've got to tighten it up on deep. Now here's Ross. And they've won the rebound battle so far, and it's translated to the scoreboard. Well, the effort level they've had has been outstanding. Hard to keep a team down when they play with that much energy. To the inside. Oh, here's Zuck. Burks covering. Dogner. And the shot is good. And that's why you don't let him get position deep in the post. Exactly. I mean, once he's got the ball in that area, the battle's already lost. Here's Parrott going inside. And it's out of bounds to New York. Going to retain possession. And New York making a change here. He's checked in. Carter, he's checked in for the Magic. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Oh, that's good. That's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. Here's Fournier, stolen by Bamba. Wagner with it to the paint. Here's Carter. Here's Bamba. And the call of foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Person. And of the last six baskets, five four have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys.
Free throw, no good. And back in the day, Greg, Allen Iverson got criticized for devaluing practice. Now we've got healthy players sitting out a game. Has load management gone too far, you think? Not a practice, but a game. We got guys missing games, Kevin. There's no doubt about it. But I, honestly, I'm really all for load management in this regard. If I owned a team and I had to invest $200 million in a player, I want to do everything I can to prolong my investment. And the reality is we've got our stars playing at unprecedented lifts at higher levels later in their career. So I'm all for doing what we can to prolong the careers of our very best players. Now, here's Wagner. Following the miss by Evan Fournier. Wagner kicks to Ross. Four on the clock. Trying to get open as Carter. You know, at the end of the day, size does matter, especially on the glass. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And Noel throws it down. Noel's teammates trust him to take shots within the offense. They know he's not going to color outside of the lines, if you will, or go off script. When he gets a clean look at the rim, he collects himself and knocks down the shot. Boy, from the looks of it, it appears the defense is fine with him taking that shot, but he makes them play when they do. And tonight, he sends it right off the glass. Inside. Whistle blows. And that's going to be a travel. Yeah, and really, he played a state-free basketball up to that point. That's the only time he's turned it over so far. Anthony's checked in for Terrence Ross. And Barrett has got the ball here for the New York Knicks. 17 points was their biggest margin. Here's Fournier. No good. And Orlando the other way. Here's Bamba. And the rejection by Noel. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Noel. Here is Carter. Over Randall. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Noel's got rebound number five here tonight. From 12 feet out. New York, no good that time either. The Magic trail by 12. Here's Bamba, and it's in there. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Anthony against Fournier. And here is Bamba. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Noel passes to Walker. Takes the 13-footer, and Bamba pulls it down. The Magic trail by 10. Suggs passes to Carter. Shoots over Walker, and it's Carter missing. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Now here's Noel. He dishes it to Walker. Six on the shot clock. And the Knicks miss again. The Magic have gone 6 of 13. So just about 46% on their field goal attempts here in the court. Now, here's Zuck. And there's the drive. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's his first person. Second team foul. At the line for the Magic, Jalen Suggs. At the line, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. So he hits both. The Knicks leading by eight. New York I'm calls I'm time out. Trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something 
anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Cole Anthony. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight, always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, well, let's summarize what Tom Thibodeau went over with his guys during the break. He said, I love how we're shooting the basketball. You guys have been locked in from three. Just keep taking makeable shots. If you don't have it, pass it to the guy who does. Kevin? Thanks so much, David. Carter finds Wagner. Now, here's Bamba. Trying to get open as Carter. That one's in there. The New York lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from Bamba. New York's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Walker the best in Noel. Stolen by Bamba. Pass to Suggs. Back to Bamba. Trying to get open as Carter. And Bamba with the basket on the assist from Suggs. Suggs has got his eighth assist in the game. New York. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. T-shirt time! with the ball, bringing it up for New York. 17 points was their biggest margin. Trying to get something going. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Walker's got 23. Walker demanding the ball when they need a bucket, relishing these moments. Here's Suggs. He blocks it again. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim, Rod the hustle. And that one's good, Noel. And Noel really does a nice job in reading angles of shots. He really excels in avoiding box outs because he's so active, and he typically beats guys to important spots near the basket. He's showing he wants to be the man. Bamba has the hunger to step up in those big moments. Outside for him. Noel against Bamba. Outside, Walker, five in the clock, and he's good on the three ball. And the Knicks lead by eight. Now Walker always shot ready. This is why you can't lay off of him, especially when the ball's going towards him. And good that time. It's been like this all night for both teams, the offenses having their way. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. Now, here's Walker. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Late in the game, 
big, they continue to attack. I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using their clock a bit. Now a timeout called by Orlando. They're trailing by eight. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. What's your take, guys? And they got to get straight to the hoop in a foul immediately. It's going to be hard, though. I mean, they don't have much time to work with you. Right, We've seen crazy stuff happen. For your next city dancer. Your next city dancer. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And the rejection by Noel. Noel just taking his territory with his massive reach. That wingspan makes him an intimidating presence who covers a lot of ground quickly. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Suggs. And he makes that one. Jalen challenging the bigger defender, cutting him down to size with that one. Well, the size mismatch is no problem for this fellow guy. Anthony, how much do you like seeing that aggressiveness from him? Second team foul. And that's an intentional foul. Jalen Sellers. That's his first personal. Third team foul. At the line for New York. Evan Fournier. At the line, two shots. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And Fournier is highly skilled, a crafty European talent who's really fearless when it comes to shooting the basketball. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. A time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. They trail by eight. There's 18 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Is what you're saying? Trying to keep hope alive, but, but I don't see them making a comeback. You know what? I'm sure crazier things have happened, or, or maybe not. It's, it's a long shot. has been most efficient. Raining it off the catch. Lovely. So they foul intentionally. That's second person. Fourth team foul. At the line for the Knicks. At the line. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. good in both at the line and it's a seven point game it's showing off a really smooth stroke there and that will add to their lead and that was a little bit of a range check for him you know guys i think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere but he could have gotten a better one than that 
And so it's the Knicks with the win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Julius. Now look, you're banging in the paint, but what do you see from your backcourt? Uh, they do a great job of, you know, they obviously can score the ball, but getting us in the games and running the offense very well and uh, leading the team that way. Well, they led you to a win tonight, Julius. Thank you for your time. Kevin? All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. See you next time.